Hi guys, good morning. Welcome to uh, Riders in the Storm, and I'm Steve. And uh, if you look over the, if you're looking at the camera, looking at me, you're also seeing the rig in the background. And we are at a Nevada, Nevada. We are at a New Mexico State Park. And we're gonna show you around that, talk about that. And I just put the name of it up on the screen right there, or right there. <laughs> anyway, just wanted to take a little walk and chat with you for a bit. We, uh, we came down out of Colorado and um, down a 285, I believe it's 17 and 285 through Southern uh, Colorado and to Me New Mexico. Now we've heard a lot of people talking about New Mexico state parks and uh, thought it was something that we wanted to check out. I don't know why I'm out of breath this morning. It's in the higher elevation than the 10,152 feet at uh, Leadville. Colorado that we just left, so uh, I just guess I gotta get out and get the lungs and the heart and everything moving, but it's early in the morning, and as you can see in the background around me, this is a beautiful place. And we thought coming down the 285 17 out of southern Colorado that uh, it was just gonna be desert, you know. Um, I think most of our experience with New Mexico has been going across 10. You know, when you're leaving Arizona and you're going across, uh, you know, down 10 past Phoenix, Tucson, and then you go across that uh, 10 across New Mexico, the Demi New Mexico, and then eventually you make it kind of over to Las Cruces and then El Paso, Texas. And uh, we've done that many times. And it's dead, it's desert, it's dry. We had no idea. When we came down the 285 slash 17 out of Southern Colorado, the mountain range we went through was raining the whole time we went through, but it was so green and lush and so many uh, cows and deer and it's tons of vehicles just parked along the freeway, uh, the road there, with guys out with their long um, boots, their trousers, and their fishing poles going out fishing. It was uh, it was startling that it was just gorgeous. Now we're still up in northern New Mexico, but I got to tell you, uh, that's probably another one of those little secrets that some of you uh, viewers are probably going to get mad at me for, but to let yeah let out the information uh, as far and wide as we can about Nevada State Parks. I mean, we have I'll show you all the numbers and there's tons of websites out there that talk about all the details of the numbers of what it costs to stay here if you buy an annual pass, resident or non-resident, but it's ridiculous uh, from what we've seen so far. Now we're sort of dry camping here where we're at at this particular park by this lake and that we have to go get our water and I've got to take my uh, basically my um, poop tank and I use my macerator pump put it in the back of the truck and I take our uh, black water and gray water down to a dump station which is probably about a mile mile and a half from here and then there's water about a mile from here and uh, there's plenty of uh, trash bins around which just make my life a whole lot easier. But I'm actually walking out and show you the lake. And then I'm gonna walk out here to the dam. Um, and I'm trying to prepare you uh, for my rant. Um, I We talked about generators. We got a lot of good response about generators, about camp etiquette. Not a lot about what the forest could service could do to help you when you're dry camping in different areas. Uh, different places where you could uh, put your take your trash get water 
dump, all those important things that full-timers like us do. Um, not a lot of comments about that. I was a little disappointed, but a lot about generators because I guess they're more immediately immediate when you have to deal with somebody uh, in the camp next to you uh, running a generator night and day. So appreciate those comments. I responded to as many of them as I could and will continue to do so. But my new rant that I have to bring this up, it's been on my mind for a long time. And it's about the pros and cons and the way people perceive a person who's decided that they basically want to go out and become a full-time RVer and live their dream. And I don't know if I should take a break here and, and gather my thoughts a little bit better about that before I take off on that. But I'm going to ask you what you think and ask you to comment because it's important to us full-time RVers and I say full-time RVers let me stop and take a break from it and then we'll go back to it but do you know there's people out there that have some really big channels like I don't know less junk more journey love them they're just the best KYD keep your daydream another great channel there's another one that's my favorite uh uh, that I'll share with you a little bit later Because I like him so much. I want to give a kind of some special attention to them. He is an excellent film film or photographer He is uh, and his little family travel Some of the best videos I've ever seen I really enjoy watching them. They're one of my favorites and I'll tell you more about them, but These people talk about how they have been on the road for three four five six seven years and I've been out on the road, Patty and I have been out on the road, Riders in the Storm, uh, for about three and a half years now. And I have met people that have been out here almost their whole life. I have met people that have been out on the road traveling in their RV for over 20 years, for 25 years. And if I bring up one of these channels, and they're really big and they become really popular channels, and I love them too, but if you talk to them about these channels, they're like, uh, you know, they're to them, they're just, they're here today and gone tomorrow. They're, they're, they're small channels compared to, or their time anyway, the duration they've been on the road. And that's just amazing to meet some of these old, old gentlemen that have been out living in their truck camper trailers and fishing for over 20 years and that's their home and that's their life we'll talk more about that later and uh just wanted to spin around here and show you this beautiful lake and uh would like you to consider rethinking new mexico state parks the price the beauty the state of New Mexico all, all the way around, all together. It's just phenomenal. Welcome back to Riders in the Storm. We'll visit again in a few minutes. Okay, so Finding Your Someday is my favorite uh, YouTube channel by far. They put out a new one every Sunday night. And the uh, thing I like about them is not only the cinematography, but uh, where can you get a channel where she swims with crocodiles and alligators and he has actually used his uh, small drone to herd cattle up in Wyoming. They just have a phenomenal little family and he has an excellent job about vlogging and filming some of the most beautiful uh, places. And So it's fascinating for me to watch if you like uh, beautiful sunsets and sunrises and just some good filming. Um, far better than what I'm doing obviously but 
Uh, oh, and he also cooks some great food too. So it's just a great channel to watch. I invite you to find him on YouTube and watch him. Oh wait, before you go, I gotta tell you about some fun we sorta of had. This is where we're staying, here on Lake State Park in New Mexico, and that's approximately our location. But we decided we we're gonna take this 95 down till it hit 322. We're trying to go to the other state, Nevada, New Mexico, sorry, State Park. And so we decided to try to take this back way down to get to this lake, and we got stuck in the mud. It rained and it was paved and then when it got way down here to this uh, back part of the lake it turned into dirt road and then we ended up getting stuck in the mode for some time. It was a little scary because we thought we were actually going to slide off the road into a couple of the ditches. We're actually trying to get to this location and it was a lot of fun. Advice to you, do not take the back roads in the rain to the other state park. In fact we've heard the main road going in is uh, can be treacherous and is muddy. Oh boy. Anyway, food for thought. Thanks for watching, guys. Catch you on the next vlog.